Hey YouTube, welcome to the most amazing top 5 where I break down the world into brilliant top 5 lists. My name is Azzy, so sit back, subscribe and let me entertain you. But first off, I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. How would you destroy the earth if you could? So let's jump into your list of the top 5 ways to destroy the earth. So these methods have been proven by science. So big disclaimer guys, definitely don't try this at home. In spot number 5, we have hurling the earth into the sun. If we were able to set the earth on a collision course with the sun, the earth would melt then vaporize under extreme temperatures of the sun. This is much harder than you think though. The earth's gravity is pretty stable and won't be knocked off course by the slightest of nudges. We need something like a gigantic rocket that could propel the earth towards the sun in the right direction. In spot number 4, we have impact with a blunt object. If you can hit anything hard enough, you can destroy it. If you hit Earth with an asteroid or a planet that was large enough at about 11 kilometers per hour, you would definitely cause a collision that would leave the Earth broken into a bunch of moon sized rocks. Scientists believe that this is a very feasible outcome and propose that Earth was most likely struck by an object the size of Mars before its surface cooled. The result, as one theory suggests, was the creation of the moon. In spot number 3 we have the black hole theory. It's been argued that if we can move the Earth into a field of a black hole, the Earth will be gobbled up and ripped apart by tidal forces. The only problem is where are you going to find a black hole? The closest one to Earth is about 1600 light years away. For the best results, you want to move the Earth and the black hole towards each other at the exact time. Next up at 2, we have ripping the Earth apart. Yes, the Earth can be ripped apart like a stack of phone books if you bring it close enough to the sun. The theory that is if you get the earth close enough to the sun's orbit on an imaginary line called the Roche limit, the strain from the gravitational forces will tear the earth in half. The theory is that the side that is orbiting the sun will want to orbit faster than the side of the earth facing away from the sun. This will literally cause the planet to rip itself in half. Pretty awesome if you ask me. And lastly, in spot number 1 we have blow it up. When all else fails, blow it up. All you need is 25 trillion tons of antimatter. Scientists state that if you gather all the explosives ever created by mankind, you could create an explosion that would wreck the planet's ecosystem and cause a larger crater. But you would barely scratch the surface. You need to make an explosion large enough to make sure that you blow the earth up into a million tiny pieces. Why? Because if you just blow up the earth into a few chunks, the pieces will fall back together under mutual gravitational attraction and the earth will reform itself like a liquid terminator. Awesome guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook and until next time, bye!